All right, guys, I got two exercises that are gonna hit your entire back. First, guys, we have supinated pull downs, and then we're gonna head on over to do chest supported T bar rows. Now, why do I pick these exercises? Well, first of all, I wanna do a vertical pull that's gonna hit the lats, and then I wanna do some horizontal rowing that's gonna hit the entire back. So, how are we gonna make this effective and intense with a short amount of time? We're gonna do three double drop sets of 10 to 15 reps. Now, I'm doing this exercise like this because I don't have the traditional lat pull down machine, but rules still apply. Here's how we're doing this. So if you're at home like myself, you can be like this if you want. Feet are nice and active on the floor, or you can have your feet stretched out like this. Toes up or extended, shoulders back away from your ears, looking up, and we're gonna have a slight angle or incline on our back. That's as far as we're gonna go, and then pulling and then up, stretch it up, and pulling down again, stretch up, nice squeeze at the bottom, stretch the top, squeeze, stretch. Your little mini break is gonna be you switching the weights. Hey, what's up guys? My Iron Shepherd's Iron Beanies are out right now in camel, charcoal, and gray. And they're moving fast. So guys, hit the link in the description below and get yours now. So I'm gonna go down a notch. And then right back down again for another 10 to 15 reps. Okay, so I recommend doing this exercise that you use straps. Why? Because we're gonna do a rest pause. Now when it comes to horizontal rowing, especially like this, sometimes the limiting factor will be grip strength or just our ability to hold the weight long enough to get through the actual set while we load the machine. So because we have the chest supported row, we have a little bit more help, so we have the ability to ride the negative a little longer on the way down as opposed to doing this traditional without this part being here to give us support for our back. So how are we doing this? We're gonna do five to 15 reps with a nice slow negative, stretch at the bottom, and nice squeeze at the top. And when you can't get to the 15, you're gonna do one rest pause for each set, three sets. So what does it look like? It looks like this. You're basically gonna do your set, you're gonna go, uh, 1,001, 1,002, stretch, squeeze. 1,001, 1,002, stretch, squeeze. Remember, when I mean stretch, I want my scapulas or my shoulder blades to open, right? We want our shoulder blades to open, and then at the top, when we're squeezing, we want our shoulder blades to squeeze. Now, we also don't want to come all the way up and have this excessive extension. I want you to feel like you're pulling yourself into the ground. This isn't even moving, you're pulling yourself into the ground. This is gonna allow you to have a little more control, keep the load onto the muscle that we intend to work out, plus keep a lot of strain off our lower back when we end up trying to do this in the end, which we don't wanna do. So, you're gonna do your set. Let's say you get to like 10, you're like, oh, you can't get up anymore, and you're down. You're gonna take about 10 seconds, and then you're gonna go and do as many reps as you can, and then that's it. All right, take this set, rate the failure, Rest, pause, one time, that's your set.
Catch your breath. Couple things to think about too. You really wanna feel it in your, in your back, AKA your lats. When I'm pulling, I have my hands here and I'm trying to slide my hands down like this. And that's gonna make my lats turn on by pulling down while I'm pulling up. Let my heart rate calm down a bit. Take about 10 seconds and do it again. Do not cheat. Don't force the rep. We're taking this to technical failure. Watch this set over and over again. Copy it. Try to mimic exactly what I did. Under control, four range of motion. Took myself to technical failure right to the very end. And you'll definitely feel it. Two more. All right, that is it for today's video. Head on over to johnashoot.com for everything pertaining to training, supplementation, and nutrition. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. And I'm gonna come with a telekinesis, transparent, vulnerable truth. And for coaching, johnashoot.com. Book yourself a one hour consult with myself. And at the end of the consult, I deduct 100 bucks off any package that you pick. And anyway, guys, for more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, you know how it is. Iron Shepherd's Iron, progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.